Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we will take the shape, the shape you already have. Please click on it and press Ctrl or Command D. This will duplicate this shape and you can press U on your keyboard to see you have the same keyframes, the same animation, two of the same boxes, uh, but this one should be shifted a bit forward. You can take it by hand. Let me maybe close this down a bit and shift it five frames forward or maybe six frames. One, two, three, four. Okay, at first let's stay at five. Now we have still the same animation. I'll need to go to the place exactly where the second keyframe is, exactly here, and change this value to 95%. Because I would like this little color here on the side to be different. So the, the new shape, the new shape you copied, you can click on it, you can go to the rectangle tool and you can change its fill. I will of course use the color I had prepared previously. So I will select the color. All right, it's a bit brighter blue. Okay, and you'll see this is how the animation looks. Okay, it can be a bit later because I think they are very quickly one after another and this all depends on you. You see, I have those nice borders. Maybe if I would select uh, different colors, it would be like more relevant, more visible, but you can still, of course, use any color you would like. So I could, for example, select a bright one and see if this looks better. Well, as I see the entire design, I think the blue is cool and if the text will be white, this will all look great. And I notice I don't like something about the text. I don't want it to be fox italic. I would like it to be a simple text like this. And now we'll slowly come in the fun part. Once you have this animation, please make the text visible and in the next lesson we'll finally use the track matting in order to have a cool way of revealing this text. Let's preview it once again. Right now you should have those animations. Thanks for listening to this lesson and let's head over to the next one where we finally work with the text and we will create a great animation on it.